Well, good day, folks. Welcome to my sunroom. <laughs> All planned out to go out on the deck, being considerate of the uh, conditions where we're supposed to remain closed in at home and all that stuff. Anyway, today, if you remember, we, I spoke in my last video about there seemed to be a difference in the flames and such from my uh, Trangia and from my Pathfinder uh, stoves, uh, the uh, alcohol burners. Well, I brought them outside. Also brought along Faithful. Now we know they are not this long, for sure. However, I brought this ruler because it's a 15 inch stainless steel. It's in inches and 60, down to a 16th of an inch on one side and the other side is to 38 centimeters. For our people who want the inches, we can do that. Let's start off today. Um, and, and I found it interesting. I've taken the cover off and I'm going to be moving the camera around a little bit here and there. And so, sorry about that. Um, okay. The Trangia, it's pretty much safe for me to flop it around because it doesn't have a lot of fuel in it. There's a little res residual in the bottom. I'm going to measure the inside diameter. Okay, a nice snug four centimeters. That's 40 millimeters. The Pathfinder is, I'm going to put that at um, 38 and a half millimeters. Okay, so it's a, it's a little bit more than a millimeter under the four centimeters which probably comes down to, uh, so I figured, inch and a half, maybe a shade more. Pathfinder School and Pathfinder Store, I could see them using SAE or inches measurements. Now, the big advantage of this one is the size of the tank. Okay. That's a massive tank. Now I've done, I've used it twice, and I still have. Well, it will go down in there. Uh, yeah, um, and one and an eighth inches of fuel in there. It doesn't look that much from on top. Okay, now the holes. Um, the Trangia holes are smaller and here's where we may have an interesting okay um, you can see that the Trangia burner holes are pointing outwards a little bit if you look at the side over this side over here they're not on the top they're pointing outwards the holes here are pointing more straight up and really it doesn't need to be that way because there is this hollow here right here underneath the holes the holes could have been down there um, or just brought down yeah, one or two millimeters and that would have changed the flame angle as I'm sure we're going to see okay now they both work well I'm going to put the lids out of the way we're not going to put them on hot. Now, the Trangia has no alcohol in it. Uh, when I used it the other day out on a table, if you remember, I was looking inside the hobo stove trying to see the flames. I did not. Now, I'm using 99.9% .9 pure methyl hydrate. Okay, now I'm going to bring this down, and I regret that I cannot... give much more than that we're going to move these guys so that you should be able to see now I cheated also and I brought a book of matches okay so um, first match taken out of the book this is part of my um, emergency illumination in the house in case we have a power failure okay 
candles and I had matches that were 30 years old or more okay both these stoves work quite well and I'm hearing a little bit of sound there and I I'm using the camera uh, microphone because I didn't see the need to go to anything else now hmm I did not bring anything to bring up behind these guys either um, I'm hoping that the, the bloom will show okay uh, this spacing the trend is a bit is warmer anyway they both work the Trangia okay you heard it pop that is the Pathfinder and yes I'm six inches above it and it's hot oh it's hotter above the Trangia by a good bit okay I'm not getting able to see um, an illumination here uh, and I'm not sure if there's anything I can do. Okay, so let's try keeping the lighting off of it from coming in the window. I'm seeing the blooming flame here. No problem, I can see it on the Trangia. Uh, I'm not getting the same volume of flame. Okay. I wasn't getting the same volume because it hadn't popped yet. It was a Trangia I heard pop. Okay. Just blowing off the piece of match. So, okay. Now we're going to put this down. I don't know if you can see anything or not. I am getting streaking of orange over here in the Trangia. And I expect, yeah, but the Trangia probably is 50% hotter, um, going by my sense of feel. They both work. As you saw, I made coffee the other day. Um, you can also notice that the Trangia is uh, being brass, is showing signs of use. Yeah. The main thing is, okay, we did. I did not stop that from bad. Bad didn't even do it right to measure how long it took to bloom. So the trangia blossomed. I'm going to say in half the time of the pathfinder. They both work. They work well. Now, here's where it gets interesting. You recall. Okay, now we can have it tamed down and simmer. And I must admit, the Pathfinder one with the wire, and there's the Alox brand, and I'm sure, I think even Esbit, not positive on that one, don't shoot me. Okay, now. They both, what I'm finding is, okay, the Trangia is a closer fit in the extent that it doesn't jiggle as much, okay. Now, I'm going to move that out of the way. Bring us in here, okay, and I'll bring it up just a bit, okay, so the band here that I've got there's the opening so you can squeeze it okay um, if it got sloppy which it wouldn't I don't think but anyway so it sits and it doesn't quite fit so you squeeze it a little bit and here we are okay now part of their theory I do believe 
because the jets are aiming upwards I'm sure that we have more than uh, the, the magical one inch that Hiram Cook yes it's one and a half okay one and a half inches Hiram Cook has tested and proven that with these burners at least um, the Trangias and, and most of them you need a one inch is the magic number any higher and you're losing some heat value okay now this one and and I do believe this because they have their jets shooting straight up they're gonna they're gonna come up inside the pot here and then outwards a little bit right so that actually I could take off a quarter of an inch I think I said right no, half an inch right reducing it a half an inch would probably make it a little better maybe not but it's not important because there and you can see it's about an eighth of an inch from being fully seated up okay a good it's, it's a good stove the only thing like I said is I found for me it wasn't very warm okay now when we get down to the Trangia and okay what do we do with it and you'll see the, 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 the black on there okay last winter I used this homemade Campbell soup can stove okay um, it's reminiscent of I think it's Alox that has the Trangia knockoff with an aluminum holder and um, shaped roughly like this but it has pinches that, that go inward okay so they, they're they, they punch the metal and bend it inwards so it's sitting inward and supports this their stove or the Trangia or any of them well I don't have the means to, to, to really go that way and this was an experiment with an old tin can right <laughs> okay you can see the rust in there and the whole thing anyway I made it originally and there's a, you can check my videos there's where I made it originally without the holes now I put this down inside and, and what I had done last winter was I sprinkled some alcohol in there and ignited it that's why I, I've actually put the the uh, Uko storm match in there now if I got mine right okay an uh, inch and a sixteenth so I wasn't far off okay so I've got an inch and a sixteenth and I got to admit it works well it's light probably every five years at the best out in the garbage with it you can see it burnt off the, the after I took the label off it burned off the paint inside and out and it's rusting they both have their advantages which one's the best one did I say one was the best one if I did then I must apologize because really it's the question is which one is the best one for you and that's the that's the whole thing of it isn't it which is the best one for you well you can make a good number of pots of coffee with what this one holds now this one the seal seems to seal a little better I find that normally I don't leave alcohol inside of my faithful Trangia because uh, I found it was getting wet on the outside disadvantages um, you'll notice my Trangia okay you can see the silver there that's actually solder okay I saw a, 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 a posting some year number of years ago and it was by a firm that actually sells the Trangia with um, another product I even forget what it was but anyway they had found that there was some seepage 
happening at the, that joint under there. And so they were ended up, the fix was to solder them. And they ended up indicating that they were going to, they, they were soldering all of those before they were sold. That was their fix to make sure there was not seepage. For me, I have a funnel over here sitting on a chair beside me. And I have my little can. It holds, the markings almost gone off it now, I guess. But anyway, um, I put in less than half of a bottle. Um, I'll, I will take and put my fuel back in it. And that little bottle does me quite well. Anyway, in conclusion, have fun and you're deciding what's the best for you. For me, I have to import Pathfinder equipment. And I must tell you that importing Pathfinder equipment is an expensive proposition. I got the Pathfinder water bottle, uh, cup, the whole kit in, in, a, in a satchel. Satchel's not the right word either, but anyway, you know, water bottle carrier. Um, it was a kit. And if I remember correctly, it was like $125 Canadian with exchange rate. That's not bad, right? Well, yeah, it is. You, you look at something in, uh, online and, okay, it's $79 or whatever the price is. And if you forget to add the exchange rate. Well, that's not bad enough. When it comes through the border, Canada Customs decides, um, however they decide, you owe duty on this thing. In actual fact, this little guy, the kit, the whole kit, cost double the American price in Canadian dollars. It was not a bargain, whereas down to visit Mountain Equipment Co-op, they've got them, right? When it says it's $20, it's $20 plus tax. So, therefore, for me, that you know, that was my lesson in learning. Pay attention. There's going to be an exchange rate. Anyway, I wish you all the best. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for the opportunity to visit in this rainy morning. And um, now's a good time to put these things away, clean up. Don't you think it's about time for a cup of coffee? I think so. All the best. Ted's clear.